The museum, of course, is a living thing, really. Uh, although everything in there is inert, the stories are just endless. The original museum was commissioned in 1968. It's the oldest one in the country dedicated to that story. Since then, it's caught on all over the country and there are countless museums uh, dedicated to the story of life-saving. My favorite part of the museum is actually not an artifact, but is really the story of ordinary human beings who, who do extraordinary things uh, for no conceivable reward or none that we can consider of. Caldwell, of course, was the man that really made it happen. And why did he make it happen? Well, he'd been in the Coast Guard during World War II, and he'd served as a boatswain mate second class on the Spencer in the North Atlantic and actually sunk uh, German submarines. And on two occasions, they rescued parts of the crews of those submarines. And that's what lit him off as a, as a young man. And when he came back here, he started collecting things and collecting and ultimately uh, donated the land there for the museum. The merger of Egan Maritime and the Nantucket Shipwreck and Lifesaving Museum enabled an expansion of programs. And of course, one of the major uh, differences is that it allowed an expansion of the physical facility so that we now have uh, the ability to present and to display uh, artifacts that heretofore were not available to the public and in such a way that we can begin to tell the story of the heroics of the men and women who were involved in life-saving and in related maritime safety uh, over the 19th and the 20th century. We want to make history accessible. We want to make our education accessible. So we know at our museum, at the Shipwreck and Lifesaving Museum, that the children who visit us are the future generation. They're our future docents. They're our future directors. They're our future visitors. We truly are trying to stick to our uh, philosophy across the board, um, at the museum or whether we're in the classrooms or whether we're on tour ships. Coast Guard ingenuity, uh, the ingenuity of private citizens on the water saving people. It's something to write about and to, and to uh, think about at all times. And we've had some fantastic rescues at sea. All you can say afterwards is how did they do that? And well, they did it because it had to be done. Passing that information on to more and more people it just inevitably is, is uh, bringing to the fore these kinds of stories. And that's how we don't lose them. We, we will lose them if we don't pay attention and, uh, and go there. It is important to keep these stories going. We have to be able to pay attention and listen to those who are the keepers of the stories. If we don't continue to encourage our young people to uh, learn these stories and to tell these stories, they will disappear. Well, and that's the, that's the point of it all, is, is this is a, a piece of American history. I think we're, we're on a roll, and I love it.